my name is Storm. My real name is Nils Robitsky. I'm coming from North Germany. That's where I grew up. I live in Berlin since 25 years now, something like that. Your instrument becomes you. Your dance becomes you. The music that is produced always has your touch. Tonight, I mean, we had Rox Ride and me as dancers. We had Taj Mahal as a DJ, Motu as a graffiti writer, and Thomas Raymond on stage as, a, as an organizer within the hip-hop field. And uh, we try to like sum things up and try to explain what the culture hip-hop is about. And uh, that the disciplines that we have in hip-hop, the different uh, disciplines talking about the dances, the music, the, the graffiti and so on and on that all of it is based on craft work which is some very old school term for also for artisan and uh, but this is what we are and this is how we would like to be seen uh, yeah, this is not just a concept that we come up in our head and all of a sudden we jump up and we do it this is something we practice for years and we work on our craft what happened because everything was blue green <coughs> everything hurt Everything else. And I was just like, ah, oh, it's alright, don't worry about it. When I came out of school, there was a police car parked in front of our house. Right? I went in, I was like, hey mom, how you doing? And my mom said, right there, she's like, ah, come with me now, come. She took me, we went into my room, she put on my music, she hated my music, right? She put on my music, she put it up, she's like, now show the policeman what you do every day. Show it. <laughs> show it. My teacher thought that I was abused. See, what I'm doing, this is, this is my life, it's my life. I breathe it, I eat it. What I'm doing here is what I do every day anyway. Yeah, and I, I celebrate it, I love it. This is, I think it's beautiful. I get in touch with people, but also I could somehow show people uh, how they could live their life happily uh, with me as an example. If you work, then you also create at the same time because nobody tells you what steps to do. You can only decide. At the end, you make the decision whether you want to do it or not. And every journey starts with the first step. So that's, that's my basic message. I gave a dance class last night, which was very interesting. I mean, it's all in the framework of Battle of the Year, you know. So Thomas Raymond, he brought me out here to not just uh, judge on Saturday for the Battle of the Year, but also to teach, hold a conference, talk to people and give a little bit more of the knowledge uh, that I gained within the past more than 30 years. So yesterday night I gave a breaking class. When I look at what I think about Battle of the Year or Montpellier or France, Europe, the world, this universe, you know, like, come on, this is it's just beautiful. Whatever happens on Saturday, uh, I better open my eyes and think twice about everything that I'm, I'm going to judge, because uh, I try to be, I try to be as correct as possible with all the judgments that I give. So uh, I know that I'm going to be stressed, but I hope that everybody else in the audience and everybody that's coming, that's going to be a lot of enjoyment and that people are going to be happy about the results at the end.